Oh, this is Bobby from Compounded Beauty Care, and uh, today I'll make a video of 40 prompts that are about to send to a customer. Uh, I want to record the fact that they work. Uh, this is our standard blade with e-prompts. Uh, those are ones that were tested and did not work for one reason or another. You can see how they were turned backwards. I'm just start starting to go in order this is our normal socket that you can see on other videos let me see first leg is on the top here all right closing connecting power and plugging uh, this is the led it should start blinking if the board is powering on normally, as you can see it does. So it's going to be a while uh, until the board powers on HDMI connected, powered, so there will be a signal, which is what we want. And this is my remote, and we're just waiting. Uh, This will be a while. I don't know if we'll have enough time for all four of them. Still blinking. Uh, never mind the mess around. This is from another TV that will have to be sorted out. Still blinking. And our Comcast on the HDMI too. Now, I'm not going to show, let me do it real quick. Uh, I'm not going to show and test every single feature. I'm going to put the visual button here. So you can see the menu on the bottom. And this is scrollable. And that's it. I want to turn it off. And move on. The next now. Now when turning it off, I will wait for this to go off, which is another few seconds. And it's three minutes video already. Alright, so I'm disconnecting. Opening, taking out this. I'm going to surely write it, label it now. See. See how well you see it best. One, a four. I don't know if you can see it well. One out of four. Guys, I'm going to take this. And put it down, get it ready, get the next one. Put it in, carefully in the socket. Close, close, lock, and power again. Now, there, there are better ways to test the EEPROMs, of course, meaning faster ways, more efficient, but this is it starting up. Um, nothing works better for a customer confidence than actually seeing the AC work where it belongs. I can stick it in a programmer, I can compare, check some. Uh, successful comparison wouldn't tell you that this is going to work. 
And uh, a lot of people doubt. Okay, not a lot. To me, it seems a lot because every single one of them is one too many. Uh, people get back to us and say that you don't work. Now, this one stopped flashing faster. Do you notice that? And I honestly don't know why that is. Some of them take half a minute, some of them take a minute and a half. Um, beats me. Okay, this is still our Comcast. And this is still my remote, and I'm still gonna press the visual button to show the menu at the bottom. Not the menu, the built in apps. There they are. Let's press the menu for a difference this time. And uh, shut it off again. Go back. Wait for total shutdown. You can see the red light coming from the audio output here. Still there. Oh, it's gone. All right, it's connecting. Opening socket. Oops, that was bad. That fell right off. And what would happen is one of the legs at the end will probably be twisted sideways, usually. Not fatal. That's uh, easily straightable if you're used to seeing it and handling it well. What I'm going to do here is label these two out of four. Let's see. Two of four. And I will straighten the legs. You see that? Two out of four. Okay, I will straighten the legs a little later. Moving on to the next one. It's going to be three out of four. I am not sure I will be able to make a video of what happens uh, when a corrupt EPROM is in. Just the other day, I got one that I haven't seen before. I've seen different types of problems, and that's only normal. It really depends on which memory block will get corrupt. Start blinking? Yes, we do. Uh, I've seen all different kinds of problems, and I've kept some of them. Well, this is original Visio EPROM. Uh, this one did not let volume to be controlled. This is the first time I see something like that. I've seen darker image both on this Visio and on uh, Sanyo models. Just just darker screen and you go, you check the resettings, I go to the system menu and check all the the binary values that are in the control options that I believe have anything to do with the screen. This was also darn fast. Uh, I wanted to add to that video how would a bad EEPROM look like on the test uh, because we do have some people that say you don't test your EEPROMs. This is what this is what this video shows. There they are again. It started the TV just fine. This time I'm not going to even go and show you the menu. You see how it works. Uh, I'm going to turn it off. All right. Wait for that. And if I disconnect from the power outlet, probably that's not even ne not necessary because it does have an emergency shutdown procedure. I just want to play as safe as possible here. Okay, let's be more careful now with this one. Okay, it is here. And I'm going to do... Three out of four. Out of four. There you go. One out of four, two out of four, and three out of four. Getting the next one. All right. Reading carefully. You can tell that I'm not the best cameraman. My virtuals are 
elsewhere. Okay, this one is blinking as well. Let's hope my camera can take enough of that. Um, let's see real quick. Well, this one is not even twisted. I'm looking at the second one here. Normally when they fail, they fail on a on corner and twist legs, but I don't see any any damage here. I'll we'll look at it closer. Again, in the meantime, this guy stopped blinking again fast. Starting it up. Moving up to the familiar visio. And let me see, this time I believe I can pull the Okay, same thing, HTML, let's pull the menu. Well, this is the menu. Help. System info, E422 VA, etc., etc. And this is gonna be 4 out of 4. Again, I'm just using this to uh, prove the fact that four ICs that we're going to be sending to a customer so are all functioning. And while at it, I might as well. Careful. Careful. Okay. Four. Oh, four. If you can see it one, let me see. I'll be able to show it. Four out of four. Okay, my battery is going down pretty quickly. I'll have to make a separate video whenever I can for what happens when you plug in a, an EEPROM that doesn't work. For the time being, I won't fail again. So I'll make sure to clean it up. No, this side four out of four. There you go. Visible, not very, but uh, I will clean it. So hopefully that settles it. Thank you very much.